I'm feeling uh, super fancy with all this uh, equipment. I feel like I'm doing a podcast. It sounds that good. Hey there, my name is Denise, and this is my first YouTube video. Denise from the future here, and no girl, this is not your first video, this is actually your second one. And um, thank you for all the love in the first one. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Also, ignore the state of my bangs. I'm like, I'm not sure what I want to do with them. I kind of like them, I kind of don't. Um, I would want them in more of like 70s style, you know, when it's like shorter here and then gradually goes longer, but I need to then grow these parts out. Yeah, <laughs> so they're in a state somewhere in between. So since Halloween is approaching, Halloween is long gone and I never managed to touch the video after filming it but here we are today. I wanted to do some Bratz inspired outfits and just like recreate them. As you can see this is one of them. Feeling cute and dressed as my childhood Bratz doll. So yeah this is Jasmine from the Treasures collection and I'm really sad that I can't buy her online because she costs 50 quid or even 100 quid. I gave my old Brad's doll away to my little cousin and now that I think about it, I regret it so much. The story is I had my Brad's doll stored away, but I was like, hey, you know what? I'm a big girl now. I don't need her anymore, right? So I gave it to my cousin and obviously she grew up Anyways, I was obsessed with Brad's dolls again, and uh, I asked for her back, but... She had been given the white to charity. And I know it's not their fault, obviously, but... Uh, I was just really disappointed to look at the prices online. Unfortunately, I can't afford that. <laughs> Sad little me. And I don't know why, but I've been feeling very nostalgic about my childhood and... Just thinking about where my fashion journey began, you know? I just feel like Bratz dolls just like pumped up my interest in fashion even more. The Bratz obsession never left, truly. Before we start the video, I actually wanted to first show you some things that I own from Bratz. So first we have these CDs. They have like, I don't know where I got these super cute cases, but I really love them. The first one is a Rock Angels. It's in Russian though. I'm not really keen on that. I was able to install it on my laptop, but it couldn't recognize the language. So it was all like a lot of gibberish. Um, but also like the audio is in Russian, so I couldn't even understand what they were saying. Like I understand some Russian words, but I'm not, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I did Russian for two years in school and I still can barely like say a sentence, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't understand shit, man. Um, anyways, I think my parents bought it in Russian just because at the time they knew Russian a lot better than English. So that would make a lot more sense, you know? But for me, I don't understand anything. I mean, it is a fairly easy game, so... I could probably guess things, you know, but I was maybe thinking of getting it in English and I could play it for y'all. Would you want that? I would really want to play through the whole game. I think it's fun. Also, I really want to play the new game, but a lot of people were saying it's not that great. What do you think? Have you played it? The next one is in a really cute case as well. This one is the Brad's Babies, but it's in Russian once again. <laughs> How nice my parents. I mean, no, I, I'm, I am happy that obviously I got the games, but yeah, don't really understand too much what they're saying. And lastly, we have the Bratz film. This one is in four languages, actually. You can choose Russian, Latvian, uh, Estonian, and Lithuanian, which is great because I can actually understand everything that is going on. I think it's time to move on to the dolls. Um, so the first one is this one. Um, I think her name is Jade, but don't quote me on that. I'm like, I, I love Bratz, but I'm not like, I don't know the collections too well or their names. I roughly know them, but anyways, I really like her shoes. They're like 
have these flames on them. I'm not sure if the camera is focusing or not. And then the next one is this. I think her name was Finora. I literally yesterday tried to Google her so hard just to find who is she. Uh, I think she's wearing like the Brad's Boys hat and the jeans. So it's just like a like a random, she has random clothing on. But yeah, I really like her. She's pretty cute. And then obviously I had to get a boy as well. Um, that's him. I think his name is Dylan. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah. I think in the future I would really want to buy um, some of the girls from the Safari collection. Obviously it's my favorite because it has camo and animal print in it. And now I have to show you the coolest thing that I own from Bratz. Um, it's this car. I got it for like 20 quid on eBay and I'm not gonna lie, it's amazing. If you put batteries in the trunk, it actually plays live radio. Like, I was so confused. Uh, why did I like recognize the song? So I was like, wait a minute. It's actually live radio. <laughs> I can't show you because um, I don't have the small batteries anymore, but yeah, I love this thing so much. Um, it's a great accessory in my room. <laughs> Pretty nice ride, if you ask me. Beep beep. Also, I'm gonna apologize in advance for touching my hair the whole video because it was hella long. I actually miss it a lot, but that's another story. Um, yeah, it was just getting in my face and in my lip gloss. If you've had long hair, you will know. So cute! Okay, I'm gonna be starting out with one of my favorites from this video. This outfit is a mix of two Bratz dolls from the first edition collection called Cool Bratz. It was released in 2001. In 2021, Bratz released a special edition of these original dolls to mark their 20 year anniversary of the brand, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of the new faces. They just look weird to me, I can't explain why. Anyways, the outfit is inspired by Jade, who's wearing the really cute tassel hat, and also by Sasha, who's wearing the long skirt. And now I'm going to let you know where I got everything from, and if you've seen my previous video, you might recognize some of these pieces. The shoes are vintage hex platforms, and if you can see the cracks in them, yes, they are falling apart, and I'm really sad about that, but what can you do? And I styled them with the leg warmers, because I think it looks cute. The camo skirt is from Martha Morgan's Depot, but they have no tag, so I'm not sure where they're from. Next up we have this amazing spray painted top, I love it so much. It's from DJ Cool 101 on Depop. I definitely want to buy more designs from them when I'm not gonna be broke, haha. <laughs> the necklaces I got on AliExpress and there's actually quite a few things I have gotten from AliExpress uh, that are in this video. I try to not usually shop on there but if I definitely know that I'm gonna wear a piece then you know what's the point of buying on eBay because it's basically the same stuff. Like they drop ship it anyways, you know what I mean? It's usually things like accessories and tights, sunglasses, that kind of stuff. The bag and hat is from Cyber Fairy on Instagram and oh my gosh, she has so many cute designs. Like she does them occasionally, but they're amazing. And they are all inspired by brats, obviously. Next up, we have an outfit inspired by the doll that I had when I was younger. So this was the only Bratz doll that I owned. Uh, my parents couldn't afford to splurge on toys, so I was really grateful and cherished her so much. She's from the Treasures collection that came out in 2005 and her name is Jasmine or Yasmin. Funny thing is, I made this outfit last year for Halloween, but I never got to wear it out because me and my partner decided to go to Malta for a holiday. So yeah, I just kind of missed out on that, um, but I might wear it this year. Let me know if I should. And of course I was wabbing to the songs again. What is this accent? Anyways, I'm wearing a pink cami top and black halter neck on top. Skirt is by Miss Posh and the belt is from Antique Shop. And I tried to do a little DIY with the tulle fabric to make it look more like Jasmine's skirt, but I think I totally failed at that. First, my glue gun broke, and also realistically, I didn't have enough fabric or skills to do that. The bag is from Almoda with a little DIY heart on it. Accessories are from eBay and Minted. Boots are Demonia Camel, they always make me feel like such a baddie. Socks are from eBay and I made sure to get extra pairs so I can make the hat, the earrings and the wristband. And if you want a DIY, I will post it soon. Y'all, this is what Doja Cat does to me. 
Moving on to an outfit that is a mix of rock angels and welcome to Fabulous inspired by Las Vegas. Both of the collections were released in 2005. I drew most of my inspo from Tiana from the Welcome to Fabulous collection but added some badassy rockstar y elements into the look. Fun fact, I wore this outfit for Halloween like two years ago when me and my friends went out. And not gonna lie, the stares that I got, especially from men in their 40s, um, those boots were making me super tall and I think I was making them insecure. <laughs> I get it though, I would also get scared if I would see a tall, bratsy, alien y human being on the street. Oh my god, I just remembered the creepy story, but you're gonna have to wait. Okay, so the story goes, me and my friend were waiting in the bus station because she had the bus to catch. And these men, these two men in their 40s or 50s came up to us, right? It's night time, you know, we don't want to be approached, right? And they literally started asking us if we want to hang out with them, all this and that. And we were like, what the fuck? Do you actually think we're going to say yes? And it didn't help that I kept repeating it, like asking the question again and again. We were like, no, we really don't want to. Like, we were feeling so unsafe. There was literally no one around us. Okay, scary stories over. How is that for Halloween, huh? I don't even need to look up scary stories online. It just happens. Okay, time for outfit details. The top is from AliExpress, just type in fox leather halter neck top. Actually, I just realized that I'm running out of time because I told you the story, so I'm just gonna have to list them. This next outfit is inspired by my passions collection from 2013. I don't want to be mean, but honestly, what the hell happened around 2011? Because the brats started to look ugly and cheap. I'm not the only one who thinks this, right? The only doll I somewhat like from this collection is the music producer. I ended up taking most of the inspo from Google images because honestly, those people know how to dress the dolls. My outfit is based on the passion of being a web developer. She makes cute websites in her day-to-day -day life. Skirt is from MOTO. The belt is from a charity shop. It's amazing. Also, it cost me only three squids. The bag is by Baby Tones. Tights are from AliExpress and for shoes I'm wearing biker Uggs. The techy looking jacket is from Criminal Damage. The silver coat is from Urban Outfitters and the little tank top is Paul Frank. Here I'm pretending that I'm talking to someone. Wow, such great acting skills. The really cute bunny hat is from Urban Code and I think the rest of the accessories are from eBay. Since I have some extra time, I wanted to talk about the Bratz flop. So, as I mentioned previously, I think Bratz was in it for a while. I think only recently the dolls have been making a big comeback. Like, I have been really enjoying their Instagram and TikTok content. For me personally, I think some of the faces still look a bit weird, but I think it really depends on the doll because some of them be looking real good. As an example, I think they totally smashed this collaboration. Not gonna lie, this collection made me excited to see what they're gonna do in future. This one is inspired by Wild West from 2005 and Rodeo from 2006. I'm so obsessed with cowgirl looks, you don't even know. The outfit is mainly inspired by Fiana from the Wild West collection and Yasmin from the Rodeo one. Some of the things that I noted down from these outfits are denim skirt, big boots, cowgirl hat, big buckle belt and suede top. Howdy, ma'am. Okay, now time for outfit details. The skirt is from a brand Lionette and then I'm wearing two belts on top. One is from Diesel and the other is Playboy. The dangly letters I actually stole from my Dolce & Gabbana bag, I just thought it added a cool detail. The top I bought on Depop ages ago, look how flattering it looks. I love the open back, but I can't tell you where it's from because there's no tags. Next up, we have the cowgirl hat and I got it on eBay. It's... Oh, I just love how fun it is. Have a basic outfit, just put that on and it's not basic anymore. The boots are by a brand for Narina, but you guys, I'm so sad. I bought them on eBay and they're a size 7, right? But I'm a 6 and a half and I was like... You know what, it's gonna fit me right, but no, they ended up being way too big on me, falling off my feet. Did you like my little edit? I put sweat and tears into it. It came out really cool though. Okay, moving on. The bag is from Hazy Maid. I got it ages ago on Depop. I don't know if you could tell, but I have worn the bag so much, it's not nice and fuzzy anymore. The fox fur feels clumpy, but I'm gonna rock it anyways. The coat is by Stalman and accessories are from eBay. This next outfit is inspired by Wintertime Wonderland collection from 2003 and 2004. 
The outfits in this collection are so cute. I wish I could dress this nice in winter as well, but I'm always cold. So yeah, I always end up looking like Adam Sandler's. Although he is pretty cool, you can't deny it. Anyways, my main inspo for this outfit was Jade, but I was really confused why Dana had the same outfit a year later. Huh? Straight up just said copy and paste. Look how cute the bag is. I got it on eBay. It's literally a kid's poodle bag. And I know you want to know where the hair is from. I got it on AliExpress for 20 pounds and not gonna lie, such a good purchase. I feel like a bubblegum princess in it. And I'm actually surprised that it's pretty good quality. So yeah, I would definitely recommend. Next up, we have this Afghan coat and I'm not sure where it's from because I sold it. The Kurt Cobain inspired glasses are from eBay and the really fluffy sheepskin hat is from Antique Store. For shoes, I'm wearing these super platform boots from Minzer Smith and I added some fluffy leg warmers like the Bratz have it. The skirt is by Pilot and the belt is from Dollskill and Bratz collaboration. On top, I'm just wearing a cashmere jumper and I can't believe how soft and warm it is and it's like really thin. It's actually really nice not to have a really chunky layer underneath your coat. The earrings are from Fairly Odd and the rest is from eBay. Next up, we have an outfit based on the Princess Collection from 2006. I fell in love with Jay's outfit and I definitely knew I have some similar items in my own closet. So there was no question, I had to recreate her outfit. I love that even though this is a Princess Collection, they have chosen not to do long dresses. Like that would be boring for this theme, right? Instead, they chose to do something more fun, like the short tutu skirt. That's a very brat's choice, if you ask me. Okay, let me tell you where I got everything from. So the long tulle skirt is actually from a charity shop. I got it for four pounds and it's so fun. They're actually originally from H&M. Jade is wearing a greenish gold rhinestone belt with a ribbon on it around her waist. So I tried to emulate the same look by adding this green ribbon. And to make it more shiny, I put on the Dollskill and Bratz collaboration belt. Oh my god, next I'm showing you these boots. They are everything. I can't get over them. They honestly go so perfectly with this look. I got them on Vinted and the brand is Phantasma. And on top I put on leg warmers just like Jade has it. And an obvious choice for the bag was this Susie Smith one. You might recognize the necklace that I'm wearing, but no, it's not the real one, it's a dupe. I do wish I could afford the real Vivian Westwood pearl choker, but for now, I'm gonna be wearing this. If you own anything from her, please let me know down in the comments if it's worth buying the real thing. The camo top is from eBay and then the fishnet long sleeve top is from Light Before Dark. And on top, I just DIY'd this little star. Coming up, we have an outfit inspired by the doll I bought on eBay. She really is a mix of things. First of all, the body is Fenora from 2011 Masquerade collection. She's wearing Dylan's hat and Ethan's jeans from NU Cool 2003 Brad's Boys collection. And the top is from Jade's 2006 Princess collection. That's the outfit you saw previously. The queen is back. Honestly, I think I executed this look pretty much perfectly. Look how cute we're twinning. She's a cutesy little mini version of me. Now that I think about it, I think I kind of regret not buying a wig so we can match perfectly. Okay, so the boots are from New Rock. They are the tower boots and they definitely make me look like a tower. This really nice shaggy fox fur coat is from Depop but it has no tags on it. I'm again wearing the camo top from eBay and then the fishnet top from Light Before Dark and the little star on it. The belt is from an antique shop. I swear to god all the best belts I have gotten are from antique shops or charity shops. This is your sign. Leave your house, explore your local area and find those gems girl. The jeans I got on eBay. The brand is Honky Tonk. What a name. I wore these jeans to the airport and not gonna lie, best decision in my life. Have you seen the size of the pockets? Like, I crammed so much shit in them. The biggest pockets I've seen on girls' jeans for sure. And then lastly, my custom bag and hat from Adventurers United. Of course, it's Bratz inspired. If you want to find them, they have now rebranded as All OK on Instagram. Next in line, we have an outfit based on the 2003 Slumber Party collection. Look at them, they all look so cute. I want all of their outfits right now. I love that every girl has their own plushie and skincare products. Have you seen the Slumber Party series? Because I haven't and I actually want to watch them. Girls, who wants a sleepover at mine's? It's time that we heal our inner child with brats. You know what? I think this is the first outfit that I have actually missed the mark on. It's definitely one of my least favorites from this video. Whoopsie. I think for me it's the color combo, something is not working together. And I think I should have paid more attention to the inspo pics because they're all wearing cami tops or t-shirts, not corsets. Like, all of them look comfy, not sexy. I guess it's not bad, but it definitely could be better. 
Okay, so the platform shoes are from Ego, tights and leg warmers are from eBay, the wig and the bunny are from AliExpress, the corset I got on Vinted and the brand is La Senza. Underneath I have the light before dark fishnet long sleeve top, the robe and the headband are actually from Primark, and the bloomers you can get on eBay or AliExpress just write in ruffle bloomers. If you do have the budget I would definitely recommend you to get ones that are handmade because these are not the best quality. And the earrings are from Elizabeth Wibley Shop, I love her designs. Following up, an outfit inspired by Jade from Stylet Collection that was released in 2003. I'm so loving the plaid or tartan look, whatever you call it. These outfits are definitely giving the high school baddie vibe, like I'm the cool girl. Wait, you have to see this. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? Do I need to say more? Cardi's reaction was exactly how I felt when I looked at the third edition dolls. I actually have no words, like what is that? I don't recognize them as brats. Brats would never, period. I just think they started confusing themselves with other doll brands because yeah. Onto the outfit, the bag is from Baby Tones, the crop top is from Q Ravers, the tie around my neck and the skirt is from Depop, but it has no tags that have been cut out. The really cool leather vest with the roses on is from a brand called Mob. I have a really fun fact for you, are you ready? If you ever watched Joe Exotic, then you might remember he actually had a jacket that looked just like the vest. The headband I actually got in a market in Amsterdam, such a cute memory. I definitely recommend buying stuff like that as souvenirs because it's something you can look at. It's such a nice reminder that you have been there. The tights and necklace are from eBay and the sunnies are from Primark. And the boots are Demonia Shakers. They're actually really comfy and easy to walk in, but my leg muscles were dying the next day. Oh no, we have reached the end. Yeah, you heard it right, this is the last one for this video. Of course I kept the best for last, duh. As this is my favorite collection, I did multiple outfits. They're all inspired by the Wild Life Safari collection from 2004. It's a dream filled with camo and animal print. You know, I'm a ride or die for those prints, right? Honestly, I can't get enough of this collection. I could look at it all day. And if they don't make another edition of these dolls, I'm gonna fight. Got time, but I don't mind. Just wanna rock you, rock you, girl. I won't list the outfit details, but here are the outfits and I hope you enjoy them. It doesn't look as nice anymore, does it? I don't know, man. Let me tell you. Yeah, bitch. Silence is like... It's burning me. Should I keep looking into the viewfinder? Bird, like, uh, inspired outfits. I'm gonna go into a way. I need to cut this off. Strike a pose. <laughs> Man, I'm too goofy for this. Um, stating your favorite look, okay? Okay. Uh, wait, what did I say? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Um, how do I say this even? And, um, I think I first need to even think about what the fuck I'm gonna say because I'm clueless. My brain is empty. I don't usually listen to ASMRs, but this could be quite cool. <laughs> Would you want me to eat a peanut? But yeah, I think this microphone is pretty cool. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want some more. Let me know some ideas you have, what I could make. And don't you forget to subscribe to this weirdo for more fashion content.